It was big. Lots and lots and lots of people. They were simply responding to the lure of land. John Carter knows pictures. He's been interpreting photographs for the archives of the Nebraska State Historical Society for decades. Carter studies photos for clues about the past. And when it comes to homesteading, there isn't much out there to investigate. People weren't out photographing that. It really just wasn't that interesting at the time. As Roger Welch said, uh, this was akin to going out and photographing people living in double-wide trailers. It was just commonplace. The fact that we have these photographs is simply because there was one really idiosyncratic photographer who did, in fact, care. He knew everybody and wanted to photograph everybody, and he did. The photographer's name was Solomon Butcher, and he traveled through Custer County in the late 1800s, making images on his glass plate negatives of every family he could find. He took hundreds of portraits on the sod house frontier. Most of the families were of European descent, but two of the most famous are of African Americans. The families in these photos had come directly from slavery, from slavery to ownership of land in a generation. What we see in these photographs is exactly what we see in the photographs of all of the homesteaders. What these folks are telling us is that this is their stuff. This is their place. They have a place in the universe. That doesn't mean to play them down. What it means is that that's what everybody out here was doing. These were not folks coming out here from the wealthy and elite. These are not the people that are coming from the noble classes of Europe. These are folks who are coming here to answer a siren call to own land for the first time in the history of your family going back to Adam. That's the story. <laughs> 